What's going on guys? It's your boy Agen back again for another Honkai Star Rail video and for today let's talk about the upcoming banner that will replace the current banner of Sila because uh, if you don't know Sila's banner is almost uh, done. Uh, Sila's banner will only last for more how many days for 4 days and 19 hours at the time of recording. So this banner will be replaced by uh, Jing Yu One's banner. It is not yet official. There are no official news yet of the banner structure that we will be getting. But I have some sources, and it's pretty easy to spot leaks, especially in the Facebook group that I am currently in. So let us go ahead and check out the banner details or the banner structure for the upcoming banner, which is going to be featuring Five Star Jing Yu One. So here in the Hongkai Star Rail uh, Global uh, Facebook group, uh, someone posted this one. So the upcoming uh, version 1.0 Phase 2 banner, uh, which is called the Swirl of Heavenly Spear. The 5 star rate up is going to be Jing Yu Wan, a lightning erudition uh, character. And he is an AOE monster. Uh, basing on the players who played the CBT, Jing Yu Wan is very OP, very OP AOE uh, DPS uh, character. So if you are lacking a very good, uh, if, or if you are looking for a really good AOE DPS uh, top tier character, then Jing Yu Wan is the right guy for you. Some of you might be skipping this banner, especially some of the play the F2P players, because there is one weakness about Jing Yu Wan. The biggest weakness of Jing Yu Wan is that he is not a waifu. Yes, because some players just like me are a waifu enjoyer. But I'm still gonna be summoning for Jing Yu Wan because he's really cool. I've already seen the animated shorts. If you've seen that my reaction to that one and my oh my, Jing Yu Wan is pretty damn cool. Especially uh, his ultimate uh, animation, the one with the uh, Aeons or uh, a spirit uh, behind him. That's fucking awesome. That's really cool. That's why... One of, that is one of the reason why I'm gonna be summoning on this banner. But that is not only the reason why I'm gonna be summoning on this banner. Because look at the other four-star character rate up in this banner. It's all pretty damn stuck. Uh, it's pretty stuck. We have Sushang, March Seven, and Ting Yun, who are all pretty darn good. Sushang is a physical hunt character, uh, probably among all the four-star characters. Sushang is probably the best DPS you can ask for. Uh, she is pretty darn good. I already raised up my uh, Sushang and I'm really impressed uh, by how much damage it deals. Especially if you play test uh, Sushang in the simulated universe. Sushang is really powerful. Next is uh, one of my favorite waifus in the game which is March 7. So March 7 is an AOE uh, eye support character. Uh, She's just uh, very OP in simulated universe if you know how to fully use her. Especially you can just uh, perma freeze the enemies because uh, her crowd control abilities is really darn strong. And not only she is really good in crowd control abilities by freezing the enemies, she also has some cleanse debuff on her skill. Her skill can cleanse. Uh, if you take a look at uh, March 7 uh, skill tree, because some of you might not uh, raise uh, March 7 because she is a pre character, and some of some of the players don't know how good she really is. Uh, her skill can cleanse this one. Uh, not this one. Uh, I think this one. Yeah, skill removes one debuff from an ally. So if you use her uh, skill ability, she can removes one debuffs, which is really really. Uh, a powerful uh, utility especially if you are fighting a lot of debuff uh, enemies like Kafka in the simulated universe uh, that one is pretty powerful uh, now Sushang, Sushang here is uh, a really powerful DPS she is a physical DPS and she's very very strong uh, as I've said she's probably the best 4 star characters in terms of DPS output in the 4 stars and the last four star rated up in the upcoming banner is going to be Ting Yun. A lot of players have been trying to get uh, a Ting Yun in their summons. Uh, fortunately, I've got a lot of uh, Ting Yuns in my uh, summons, but I've already gotten her to E2. But 
I really want her uh, her to be uh, fully maxed out. Uh, and that's why one of the reasons why I'm summoning on Jing Yuan's banner. It's mainly because to get all of the Eidolons for my other 4 star characters. Because uh, having Eidolons in your characters are really really beneficial. Especially uh, if those 4 star characters are top tier. Su Xiang, top tier DPS. King Yun is probably the best uh, buffer in the game uh, in the 4 star category. In the 4 star divisions. Uh, King Yun is also something like uh, a 5 star in disguise as a 4 star character. That is how good she really is. That is why this upcoming banner is uh, really hard to skip because because of the banner structure, the banner characters that are available uh, in the in the banner. What about the light cones? I've heard that the light cone for uh, Jing Yu One is really really powerful. Also, I think it's already in the game. If we take a look at the data bank, I think it's already here. Uh, this one before dawn I think this one is the upcoming light cone uh, in the upcoming banner uh, as you can see this one this banner this uh, light cone is pretty stuck also as you can see uh, increases the wearer's crit damage by 30% crit damage is already pretty darn strong and then ultimate damage by 18% and then follow up attack damage increases by 48% so a lot of damaging increase in just one light cones. Like, man, this, this light cone is pretty bonkers. It's really, really broken. But do you have the necessary uh, resources to summon for this one? I don't think so. Especially the F2Ps or the low spenders. But if you are lucky enough uh, to get those uh, Jing Yu one early on and uh, his uh, light cone, then you're probably pretty much set for the long run. Because Jing Yu one is a really, really good AOE carry DPS. With uh, with those uh, light cones equipped on him, his uh, own light cone, probably he's going to be uh, a really, really good investment for an AOE DPS character. If you are tired of using uh, Serval, then yeah, Jing Yuan is the best replacement for Serval. Take note guys that this is not yet fully official released. Uh, you may call it leaks, but... It's already in the Facebook group that I am currently in. So, and it does not say there that uh, this is some form of leak. So, take it with a big grain of salt. So, what are you? What are your thoughts about this upcoming banner for Jing Yu One? Are you going to be summoning on this banner? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I think that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.